If you could place any object on the surface of Mars, purely to confuse NASA scientists, what would it be? $200,000, a parachute, and the body of Dub Cooper. A NASA spacecraft, one that NASA has no record of. Like something they've never built, but that has NASA logos all over it, and clearly has a NASA origin, just not our NASA. The missing pieces of the Rosetta Stone, complete with a fourth as yet unknown language. An exact copy of the Mars rover, or whatever they used to discover it. That's actually a great premise for a sci-fi horror movie. The rover rolls up to the Mars base, and they're about to let it in when they glance at the monitor and realize they realize the real rover is a mile away. Beep boop, the doppelganger says, time to collect samples. That's probably one of the better mind feck. A big map of Earth with several points of interest marked on it, and an extra continent with a big X through it. But it's got to be random as places. A.G. Gary, Indiana, is circled three times with big stars around it. With New Zealand Fevex, its normal size. A white plastic lawn chair with a slight chip in one of the legs so they'd be scared to sit down. Shit Virgil made it to Mars. Simple Velociraptor skeletons in a space shuttle. One of them holding a Bible, so a Velocipastor. Liquid water in a mason jar. Scientists have found evidence of a 2012 barn wedding on Mars. A page from a Martian newspaper, pondering the possibility that there might be life on Earth. The turns have table. Wacky inflatable tube man on the highest peak. Hi, I'm Earl Harrington from Earl Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Flailing Arm Tube Man Incorporation here to let you know we have an overstock of Wacky Waving Inflatable Flailing Arm Tube Mans and need to clear them out now and passing the savings on to you. A fully crewed by preserved corpses, skeletons of course, Viking longship. We're whalers on the moon with a note that says we were here first, Leif Erikson. That is what I was thinking. Those guys went everywhere before the rest of Europe. A small sign saying, caution, uneven surface. I'm a geologist, and I can confirm that just placing the wrong type of rock would fuck up science for like 30 years. I often pick up rocks that I know only occur in specific areas and leave them somewhere that would be naturally impossible in the hope that it will break a geochemist's mind when they find it. I work at an airport, and we have to collect samples of bird strikes on aircraft to send in for identification and tracking to the Smithsonian Ornithology Department. I really want to acquire some emperor penguin feathers for submission, just to see what would happen. For reference, I live in the Northeast. Till there are geologist dickheads, I like it. I mean, of course, a Mars bar wrapper. Like a giant one covering the entire planet under a slight layer of dirt and dust or just the one regular size thing. Taking notes. That is the best thing I will see today, probably this week. Love your work, dudes. Holy shit, it's the real NASA. Check the profile. Holy fucking shit, Mayo. NASA browsing Reddit instead of working. Lol, hey, are you guys hiring for anything remotely? I have a degree in business and experience as an analyst and want to do something important with my life. Omfke, this is one of the best things I've seen all month, friggin' heck. It's actual NASA, kind of breaking the fourth wall, if you will. Just the whole situation, I guess. Anyway, it's great. great. Soviet era, spacesuit with a skeleton. With a name tag, Rasputin. I'd go with North Korean to further confuse things. You should watch for all mankind. An Egyptian obelisk inscribed with mathematics relating to something like a spatial fold engine or warp drive. You could confuse the scientists by developing mathematics related to a spatial fold engine or warp drive. Monoliths describing how Sharon is actually a big interspace gate or something. Then watch happily as the globe panics, then sets up expeditions for Sharon only to find nothing there or something. It's okay, you can just call it a mass relay. A pyramid combining all the different appearances of the different pyramids on Earth, filled with booby traps and xenomorphs. A picnic basket, blanket, food laid out with a note. Honey, I forgot the potato salad. I'll be back in 20 minutes. And for good measure, 
1953 Buick to complete the scene, footprints that walk away and just disappear about 50 yards away. I want to read that story, Mr. Bradbury. I like your storytelling. Statue of Liberty half buried in the ground. You maniac. No, you'll never make a monkey out of me. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Watched this yesterday. Brilliant film. Welcome to Venus. A partially vaporized radioactive manhole cover. Etta. Thanks, kind. Internet strangers for the awards. A whole ass dollar general. Dollar generals exist in the most random rural places already. That I'd be like, ok, this makes sense. Dinosaur remains holding a Bible. Twist. The Bible is Guadalupan edition. One of the 28,000 rubber ducks that got spilled in the Atlantic back in 1992. <gasps> Teps for you, Nepi 92. Org 2011 329. 134,924,920,3,803,000. Bath. Tis Bastad. See edit. Clean link. A Thulu statue. Just the biggest one I could possibly find. That S design we all drew in middle school. Our core memories unlocked, thanks. I'm gonna go, draw it now. Teps, UW Reddit, common nostalgia, comments to 44 chair that pointiest thing will do edit. Watch the video in the first comment. Apparently the design has been around since the 60s or Smith. Also, not me referencing a Reddit thread, referencing a Reddit thread, referencing a Reddit thread to Fashionist's Reddit. The fossilized remains of non-human biped, with a sign that says no more nuclear testing. Non-human, biped, a chicken. A petri dish worth of bacteria, they'd go crazy if they found it. Spirit, Halloween. Pieces of flight, with 370. A NASA scientist. Hey, is that Jeff's frozen corpse? Nonsense, Jeff is right. Jeff.